Good morning, Starshine. <laughs> Mommy says hello. <laughs> Where's my baby? Hummer. Hummer. Good morning, Mern. Where's your brother and your sister? Where's your baby brother? Come on. Oh, this is good morning. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, hi. Come on, let's go party. Let's go party. Let's go party. Who's so handsome? Who's so handsome? Who's so handsome? Who's so handsome? Oh, there's my other handsome. Do you want to go party? Is it party time? Yeah. Where's my old man? Where's my old man? Why are you so little? Why are you so little? Oh, you're little too. Oh, you're so little. Oh, my old mister. Hello, old mister. Hi. How's your throat today? Are you feeling yucky nucky? Are you feeling yucky nucky? Oh, you're feeling yucky nucky too? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go potty. Come on, let's go potty. Let's go potty. You ready? Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's medication time. Come on. Yes, a good boy. Yes, a good boy. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, a good boy. Get up, Bobby. Get What do you want? Show me what you want. Oh, do you want food? Is that your food? Oh, is it this one? Oh, is it this one? Do you want to go have breakfast? Come on, let's go have breakfast. Come on, get this papa. Get this papa. Vamos a la papa, bien. Vamos a comer papa. Bien, Sofia. Sofia, get this papa. Bien, vamos a comer papa, bien, mi amor. Man, mama se comer papita. Look at this one. You ready for breakfast? You're ready to go, aren't you? He's like, hello, food time. Is it breakfast time? <gasps> Is it breakfast time? Come here, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Who's so handsome and smart? Who's so handsome and smart? Say hi to your friends. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed that whirlwind of a morning. Um, we're still actually not done with it. Wesley still has one more medication and his insulin shot to do. Um, it is very rewarding to be able to provide such good care with my own hands to my senior pets. But I have to say some days when I'm sick, I'm just not feeling it, I'm stressed or I'm overwhelmed, it can be a big, big, big burden. And I say that here out loud to you guys comfortably because it is a safe zone and we're all friends, but it does feel burdensome, you know, sometimes. I have four dogs. If you guys are new here, my name is Danny and I'm a dog hoarder. <laughs> and Wesley, medication time. Ready? One, two, three. Good boy. But for now, I should probably go put pants on and I'll catch you later. Okay. You should probably put pants on. Why aren't you wearing pants? Do you want to show everyone your haircut? You know, we did this whole nice intro. I have to say, too, you were very handsome. You gave me all the angles I needed. You ate that, well, you always eat that food with that much enthusiasm. <laughs> I was going to say, you were very enthu- You're always enthusiastic with food, right? So am I. But this one, hey, why were you rude on- Why were you rude while Mommy was talking? Can you tell me that? Why were you rude when mommy was talking? Does mommy make you bored? Does mommy make you bored? Oh, mama talks so much. Mamas are the worst, huh? Oh, mommy's talking, 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 talk. And Mern doesn't get to talk? It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Yes, it is. Why are you so pretty? You know mama's gonna take care of you forever. Your know, mama's always gonna take care of you and make you feel safe forever and ever. Yeah, I hope you know that, Mern. You special girl. 
You are my special girl. Mm hmm Even though you hate your sister. Troublemaker. <laughs> you're terrible. You're terrible. Are you terrible? Are you? <gasps> Mern, see what I mean? Mern, can you fix the rug? No? All right. Well, that's nice. How about now? Can you fix it again? Fix the rug. No? Oh, man. Hey, you guys. A little bit after 1.30. Do you guys ever have like an eerily good and productive day with like no hiccups, no bumps in the road, smooth, and then you start to wonder. It's only a matter of time before something goes wrong, am I right? That's kind of where I'm at right now. I was able to edit, export, upload, and everything without any bumps on the road. On the road, in the road, on the road? On the, in the road, whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which was super weird because that never, I need, I need a haircut. Do you cut hair? Because I need you to cut my hair. My soul sister, Katie, I don't know. She must be swamped with everything going on right now. I don't even know if she's back to work. Maybe not. Um, I know she's like a big rule follower too. So she's probably still under like quarantine or something. Anyway, I haven't been able to reach her. So. Do you, want, do you want to cut my hair? I need layers. I need, I need layers. I need a layer starting here and then longer layers. Don't want to cut it off yet in hopes that maybe we can reschedule the nuptials. But anyway, I digress. I, what I was telling you is, yeah, usually the internet goes in and out. My upload crashes like three times. The export takes six hours. Usually something awful happens. No, we edited, exported, uploaded all in a matter of a couple hours. I can't even believe it. I can't. I can't. So I'm actually just getting ready to head out the door. My appointment's at 2.30. I'm gonna leave here at two. I hope it's efficient and the appointment is expedited. I know they have a special check-in process. I know they required you to wear facial coverings and gloves. It is my optometry appointment, which I haven't updated my prescription about two years. So it always happens like this where I'm like up to date on all my appointments and then I'm like, hey, I'm caught up. Let me take a three year break. So I need a new prescription and then I can order my daisies that you guys helped me pick out in a couple of vlogs ago. But so in last weekend's vlog or rather the vlog I'm gonna post tomorrow, uh, this is just confusing. Anyway, in one of the vlogs that I accidentally raced all the footage and I lost a vlog, I showed you guys the new couch that we have in our room. Judgment free zone, y'all. Judgment free zone. My room's kind of messy right now. The, the bed is a mess because Sophia was playing on it. And Sophia doesn't know how to play cute. She just destroys, kind of like Mern. The boy dogs, they play so cute. They're like prancy pantsy, but the girls are just destructive. Anyway, so we have been wanting to get a couch for our bedroom for a very long time, but we didn't want to rush into it. Well, maybe a year or two ago, every, every one of my stories is a year or two ago. Like I have zero frame of reference when it comes to times. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, fun fact. We walked into a love sack store at the mall, fell in love with the couch. Despite it not matching our bedroom, both of us were like, this is the couch. There is so much potential with this couch. When we saw the price tag, we were like, <laughs> That's gonna be a no ma'am. We can't afford it. It is way too expensive. Let's put a pin in it. Well, because of COVID, they offered a 40% discount to first responders. This is our chance. It's like an actual regular price couch now. <laughs> we called our associate. It was so weird, the experience, because like you can text them. They text you, they text you pictures, they help you out. Like it was like, a personal online shopping experience. It was so bizarre. Anyway, we ordered a sectional. It came. It's in bunny fur, PH. It's, it doesn't not match. It's a neutral, but it doesn't really go with the vibe plus this purple paint. Once we get to a place where like strangers can be in our house for an extended period of time without the risk of Corona, I'm hiring someone to come in and get rid of this purple because it's driving me crazy. We still have like the gray ceiling, which is random because we were supposed to get rid of it. Well, not get rid of it. We were, it was supposed to complement the new paint color, but we just put a pin in that. Anyway, the whole house is a pin. <laughs> this couch is cool because, well, let me show you. Do you see her over there? Do you see what she did to the bed? You can see all the little indentations on the bed on where she was playing. All the cushions knocked over, look at the pillows. Hey, are you proud of yourself? 
Do you want to confess your crime and tell everyone what you did? It's that haircut. It makes you sassier than normal, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes you sassier than normal. Oh, look at that angel face. Never mind. Look, at she's like an angel. Ay, eres un angelito perfecto, ¿verdad? Un angelito chiquito muy bonito. ¿Quién es este angelito perfecto? You would never do such a thing, would you? No, you're good. You are good. Come on, model the couch for us. Come on. Subete. Okay, wait there. Wait there. So this is our sectional, and we wanted to go with this because A, it's like Tetris blocks or Lego blocks. Not Tetris. Tetris is a bad example because Tetris only works a specific way. This, you can do whatever you want with it, however you want. All of the pieces connect, all of them move around. So you see these two that we're using as ottomans? If we turn them this way, these are two twin size beds. If we turn these, these are two twin size bed. How amazing is that? The walls of the couch move. So if we wanted to add parts in the future, we could shift them and we can make it an actual sectional couch. We can make a chaise. We could separate them and put one baby couch in someone's room, another baby couch in someone else's room. We could turn it into a giant couch. We could make it not a couch. So it is full of potential. All of the covers, they're like outfits. They're washable and you can change them. So this, we wanted the bunny fur, which is the soft that you could see there. But do you see the beige, the weave color? That also comes with the couch. So if we change our mind or if it gets really hot in the summer and we just wanna get rid of the fur or we realize it's gaudy and tacky and it kinda of like, we scratched our itch and we're over it, we can actually remove all the fur and we still have the covers that match the rest of the couch. Isn't that cool? So when you walk into the room, that's on that side, and that's over here. And that's my drink from yesterday, Judgment Free Zone, y'all. Yeah, so we're super in love with it. So we'll sit here and we'll watch TV, and then when we get bored, we'll go over here and then we'll actually go to bed. But we have been absolutely loving it. It was one of the best purchases we've ever made. However, you really have to look at it as an investment. If there's no possibilities for it, multiple possibilities for it in your home. So if you can't come up with many purposes for a couch like this, don't buy it because it is, I feel, overpriced. And it's also weird because they ship it to your house in boxes and FedEx just drops it at your door. So we had like 20 boxes just left at our front doorstep and we had to put it together. It was so weird. It was just the weirdest experience. But like I said, the way we look at it, it's like, hey, listen, if our parents are visiting for Christmas, this is two beds. So we can have our parents in one of the kids' rooms and then we can have the kids sleep here. If there is, uh, you know, we get tired of the living room couch. It's too fancy. We hate the high walls. We can actually put this in the living room and just buy two more sections, like two more sides and two more backs or whatever, and then make an actual sectional couch for our house. If we get tired of the neutrals, the beiges and the grays and stuff like that, and we want like a midnight velvet blue cover, they have that option. So if you can't think of ways that it could serve more than one purpose, I think it's a little expensive. Just get a regular couch. Our dilemma was the entrance to our bedroom is very nooky. Like it's a nooky. <laughs> Limp biscuit. anyone? No, class of 2003? No? no? Okay, anyway. It's like a little, it's like a, it's a hard right. It's a hard 90 degree angle. So if we ever bought a couch, we'd have to get a small one, like a love seat, to make it fit through there, or we'd have to pop it through the window. And that's just weird, right? So anyway, um, I hadn't shown you, well, I did show you, but I erased the footage. So I wanted to show you guys that. I need to run out the door because I promised that I would drop something off for my son uh, that's at his dad's house right now. Luckily he's close by, so I need to drop that off and then I need to go to my eye doctor appointment. Hopefully the next time I see you guys, I have a new prescription, maybe? Actually, I hope it's the same prescription. I feel like my vision has changed, but I don't think it's an impairment quite yet. I had LASIK when I was, 15 or 16, I think, and it was one of the best choices I've ever made. I was super legally blind. Now I am not, but at night I find myself doing this a lot when I'm tired, so maybe an updated prescription will help. I know for sure I need updated glasses um, because I leave mine all over the place. I, why can't I just, why can't I build healthy habits? Like. Do you struggle building healthy habits? You know what's not a healthy habit? Let me show you. The number one way, see the little nookie here? Here's the nookie. <laughs> the number one way to know that Danny is stressed 
is because of the amount of carbs she consumes. And why am I talking in the third person? Anyway, the other day I had a moment of weakness on Amazon and I got all this candy. I self-medicate in the form of carbs when I'm stressed, whether it's bread, cookies, crackers, cake, or sugar. So I was talking to my friend Usha and she sent us a picture of what she was eating and then I was like, oh wow, that looks delicious. And she's like, yeah, I got it on Amazon. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? So we got some Sour Patch straws. You know what the worst part is though, you guys? The worst part is I justify it. No, it's not for the children. It's for me because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> we got some um, paletas, Vero paletas, so like spicy lollipops. Amazon sells Mexican candy now, so I don't have to drive for 40 miles to get Mexican candy or call my mom and harass her to ship me stuff. These only came in a two pack. <laughs> My five-year-old is obsessed with Haribo gummies. They're my favorite. No other gummy bear compares. If a gummy bear isn't hard like this, it's not a gummy bear I want in my life. And then these, discovered in Oklahoma, I brought them home and shared it with my son, my eight-year-old, and he loved them. So I got these again. So it was a very easy, it was very easy for me to justify this. The truth is no justification was needed. They were for me and I'm just blessed that everyone in this house likes them. So I will not be consuming them entirely by myself. Yes, my kitchen is destroyed right now. You don't notice? What's missing you guys? If you've watched me cook in this house, what is missing? So a couple months ago, Parker was messing around with my hood and he broke it. He broke the fan. So the exhaust, instead of sucking up and taking out the grease smell from my house, it was pushing down. And cr like crap from the ventilation system was coming down, dirt and sawdust falling down into the food. So I was like, this is not a way to live. And now we don't have one. In his defense though, I wasn't actually using it because it was broken. So if there isn't one or there is, it really doesn't make a difference. It just, visually now it's just, it's ugly. But do you want to see my new hood? It's in here. <laughs> What is this? Okay, <laughs> this is no way to live. So this is gonna be my new hood. It's like super heavy duty industrial grade because I love to cook, so that's exciting. These are LED lights, super exciting. And then it has these grates that fit on top of here. Those are the filters and they're dishwasher safe. All my love languages in one venting system, you guys. So at some point this weekend, fingers crossed, Parker's gonna install this and we'll have a new stainless steel kitchen hood. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. I didn't even know Parker. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Um let's let's see here. Uh oh, look at that. Wow. Look it's so it's so bright. Hold on. I hope it actually fits over the stove. <gasps> da da! Wow, looks like a looks like a helicopter or something, doesn't it? <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what helicopters look like. So, fingers crossed, Parker is actually able to install this at some point this weekend, so we could try it out. I don't know. Just looking at this, though, and how much it sticks out, I don't even know if these lights are going to actually be directly above the cook range. <laughs> hey, you guys! I just got home to the most glorious package ever. In case you're wondering about my ocular health, my eyes are, my eyes are healthy, my macula is healthy, my optical nerve is healthy. She asked me if I had any dryness because when you get older, your eyes get drier. I'm trying not to, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying not to overthink that, that statement. <laughs> I was like, we're the same age. <laughs> so I was like, no, I just, I have like blurry vision, maybe like at the end of the day. Oh, just, just specifically at the end of the day. Anyway, point of the story is my prescription barely changed. So it's not that dramatically different, which is kind of good news, right? So anyway, back to the package. I placed an order at the beginning of April from Solodos. Solo Sol Saludos, Sol Saludos, I don't know. This is the this is the name of the brand, Saludos. I posted on Instagram, I was like, y'all, tie-dye sneakers, I need them in my life. And you guys voted that it was correct that I did need them. However, they were on back order because they weren't made yet. So they were, like they had just released the style. So they were like, listen, you're not gonna get them until May 5th. So come May 10th, I emailed them a copy of my invoice and I was like, y'all, where are my sneakers? 
and they never replied. But what shows up at my doorstep like four days later? Coincidence? I think not. I honestly think they forgot about my order. I think this brand is small enough where they forgot about my order. <laughs> I'm excited, but the whole principle of the matter. You guys know how I am about principles and stuff. Okay, so here's the thing. Someone left me a comment in one of my videos. I don't remember if it was Fat Fit Fun or like my YouTube channel recommendations. And she's like, Danny, the tie dye needs to stop. I'm sorry, Susan. Who put you in charge of the tie-dye police academy? If tie-dye makes me happy. It's not like I'm going around like punching puppies. That doesn't make me happy. Wearing tie-dye makes me happy. It is a passing trend. I understand that it's not gonna be cool in the next few months. <laughs> but as long as it's cool, what's it to you, homie? So, I like it. I love happy colors. And these are kind of super cute. Aren't they? I mean, just take it in. Just take it in. Take it all just in. Look at that. Oh, they're like a beige color and the ad made them look like they were white. So I was a little hesitant to order them because I was like, I have probably three pairs of white sneakers. They're all different, but they're all white. And so I was like, oh, do I need more white sneakers? I was like, yeah, because they're tie dye. So um, super cute, right? Let me show you a close up. Aren't they adorable? And they're that really soft um, pebbled leather. Like I'm, I'm talking soft. Look at how soft they are. Super soft. That's the back. Oh, I hadn't even noticed that. That's really cute. So yeah, aren't they super precious? Now, these are high quality materials and they are kind of pricey, but I'm gonna set you guys down here so I can slip them on. They are kind of pricey, but they're having like a Corona sale. All right, here we go. Yeah, they were having a, um, Oh, all right, supermodel. Uh, do you want to put on the other shoe? Are you are you comfortable on that cardboard box? Is it is it doing it for you? That can't possibly be comfortable. There you go. You're welcome. That's nice. Do you like your haircut? I like these long skinny legs. Those are nice. Oh, those legs are nice. <laughs> anyway, they were having a sale because um, they were trying to do like a, hey, everyone's staying at home. See how soft they are? Look at my toe. Everyone's having um, those coronavirus sales. So their entire website was 25% off. Aren't they precious? I'm going to link these for you guys. I think uh, Nordstrom also carries this brand. Although when I was ordering these, the Nordstrom website didn't have them on their site. I ordered them directly from the website, which is probably why they forgot about me, but I'm kind of really excited about these. I just walked around in my room for three seconds with them and they're really comfortable. Oh my gosh, the inside feels like it has memory foam. Um, the inside is also leather. How cute are those? I got a size nine. Yeah, I got a nine. I can wear anywhere between an eight and a half and a nine. These are a nine and they fit really well. And I'm not wearing socks though, so you gotta keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna add these to the long list of purchases that I made thanks to coronavirus. I do have to say though, I think I ordered these before the lockdown? I can't even remember anymore. Like, I can't remember anything, probably because I'm old and I have dry eyes. <laughs> hey, tell everyone what time it is. Sophia! Sophia! Ay, que bonita perrita. You do? All right, you guys, it's dinner time. It's a little bit after five o'clock. <gasps> Look at that. This is, um, what is it called? Something olive vodka, rigatoni olive vodka. Um, we ordered from this place called Goodfellas. And look at this. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add spinach. Oh, I missed it. I missed a good opportunity. This is the white pizza from Goodfellas and the um, pasta olive vodka. It has like ham and stuff. We added chicken, um, but this is what we're gonna eat for dinner at like four o'clock. Oh my goodness. Who is there? <gasps> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, angelito de mi vida. Buenos dias. Oh, Maris. Maris. Espérate. A ver. A ver. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who's so handsome? Who's so handsome? Who's so little? Who's so little? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Good morning, cinnamon rolls. Good morning. Good morning, starshine. The world says hello. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Good morning. Happy Saturday, love of my life. Ay, que niño tan guapo. Que niño tan perfecto y tan hermoso. Tengo yo esa la cosa pulga tan bonita. Mete, mete, mete. Vente. Oh, ahora es nice. Come on, let's go. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días, hermosa de mi corazón. Buenos días. Ay, qué rica papa. Hey. Hey, confess your crime. Look at me. Wesley. Wesley, look at me. Does anyone else have a dog that looks away when they're in trouble? Look at me. Confess your crime. What did you do? Look at that face of indigestion. Did you eat your sister's food too? Huh? When mommy wasn't looking? Look at me. Wesley. Did you do it? Did you eat two portions of breakfast this morning? <sighs> Those cinnamon rolls are going to be back in no time. Mm-hmm. The baker's dozen. Hey, I'm talking to you, man. Hey, all you gotta do is say sorry and go make your sister her breakfast. Wesley, what's the matter? Are you embarrassed? Are you ashamed? I feel, I think you're sorry. Are you sorry? Yeah? Hey, you guys, almost seven o'clock. Why am I up this early? You know, it's on the days that I wanna sleep in that I can't because the dogs freak out and wanna wake up. And it's on the days that they don't wake up that I can't sleep anymore. I was so worried last night. I don't know. It's like a, I think it's a divorced parent thing. There are some specific days for a specific reason or not. Like I've noticed that I don't have to have a specific reason. There are just some days where I'm worried, wondering, you know, and just that parent gene kicks in. It's, I've learned that ignorance is bliss and it's okay for your peace of mind and emotional health to shut down the parent part just a little bit when your kids aren't with you. It's impossible to do it fully, but there are just some days where I'm, I can't, I can't sweep it under the rug and I just can't shake, shake, just shake a feeling of like, I'm worried about my kids. Like, I wonder, are they happy? That's like my permanent question, even when they're here is, are they happy? So I just had one of those nights where it was 1030, which for me, y'all is, I'm well now, okay? 10.30 is like at a rave at 3 a.m. So I was awake at 10.30, wide awake. I just couldn't fall, fall asleep. I had to force myself to fall asleep. So I buried my face in a pillow like an ostrich. I don't know if you guys can sleep like that. I'm gonna be hell wrinkled by the time I'm 40, but I sleep like face down and I was able to fall asleep. But I don't know, I still have that like weird little sensation in my gut. They don't come back until Monday, so it's gonna be a long weekend if I can't shake it off. So I'm probably gonna play Animal Crossing today. <laughs> day is Saturday. Um, it's supposed to rain all day. So anyway, that's it. Happy Saturday. Uh, we'll be doing some kitchen construction later today. Animal Crossing, I need to edit a video for Monday, which I haven't done so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. So I'll have to do that today. But we're still under quarantine, just because we want to. Yesterday when I went to the eye doctor, I realized how delicate everything still is. Like I saw it with my own eyes. There was a big like stop sign at the entrance of the optometrist. Stop, before you enter the premises, you must be wearing a facial covering um, and there will be gloves provided or whatever. I was like, okay. And then you open the door, you don't walk more than eight inches and there is a little, um, like it looked like a planter. Do you need a poop? Yeah, after you eat like seven pounds of food, you need to poop. <laughs> sitting by the door. There's like a little planter holder and then there was a trash can on top of it and like a giant jug of sanitizer and it was like, please wash your hands before talking to um, like the receptionist, y'all. It made me realize how sensitive it still is, how vulnerable it, it still is. And so we just decided to stay as home as much as possible, you know, or take the safety precautions that we need to if we need to go out without the children. But going out by myself yesterday for an optometry appointment, which might I add was like 30 minutes long because I didn't get the dilation. <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm nervous. And it just kind of like combined. 
Um, it was scary. It was scary to see everyone just acting like something out there is so dangerous. But anyway, I digress. That's it. Happy Saturday. I love you. Be nice, Wesley. Hey, battle fairly. Bert, go. Get him, Bert. Hey, she needs a break. Hey, you guys, almost 10 o'clock. All right, so we like to focus on the positive around here. So of the entire morning, I successfully took a shower. That is my productivity for this morning. I also am almost done building a museum on Animal Crossing, so that's kind of exciting. I have my house. I started a new island. It's a whole thing. We don't need to talk about it right now. So I thought I would put on my, like, my little construction outfit. However, if you know anything about me, this is just a regular outfit for me. <laughs> There's no role assigned to it. This is just the fashion that I like to wear. So we're gonna do some labor in the kitchen and then I'm gonna sneak away and finish building this museum. It's the truth. We're honest around here. Right, Wesley? Mama's honest and that's the truth. We're gonna build a museum. Is that the truth? Is there a smudge on my lens? Is there a smudge on my lens? What's going on? I think there is a smudge on my lens. Dun, 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 dun. All right, y'all, what do you think? Almost 12.30? How long did it take us? Four hours? No. Seven hours. I don't know why a hooded vent system needs a, remo a remote. This For short people. For short people? Ready? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, there goes Popo. Popo's getting sucked up. <laughs> Bottom. It's like an upside down grill. Look at that. And you don't have those filters that you have to replace. You just wash these. And you only have to wash them every six months. And then you see how the um, grates are on an angle. The gap here is wider than there. So they're slightly on an angle. And this is a grease trap. So every six months, you take these down. They're dishwasher safe. You wash out the grease trap. And that's it. You never have to buy filters again, which is why the other one broke in the first place. Hey, Foreverhood, hello. Hey you guys, happy Sunday! So I was in trouble this morning because I hadn't edited my video for tomorrow. So I was like, you have to focus, hunker down. I'm a big procrastinator. If I don't do things on the spot, for example, I film content, I have to edit it within the first couple days or else it's literally almost impossible to get me to edit it. Edit it. This is why people hire editors. It's hard for me to be so far removed from it, like it's been a week or whatever, and then to watch myself back. Like normally I annoy myself. In this case, I annoy myself a little, bit, a little more. So anyway, I was like, you're in trouble, Danny, this morning. You're not allowed to do anything until you finish your work. I just got carried away. I made breakfast, I pulled my hair. I made breakfast, I finished editing, I uploaded, um, I scheduled it, so it's ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then I started to play Animal Crossing. So it's a pretty chill Sunday, pretty chill. I was like, I'm gonna start doing laundry, but I'm like, mm, I don't have that much laundry to, to do it, so I'm just gonna leave little piles of laundry around the house. It's a really lazy day, and if I don't force myself to actually have a lazy day, it doesn't happen. I could come up with an infinite amount of things that I need to do, and I just, they don't need to be done. So if I need to teach myself forced relaxation, then that's what we're gonna do today. So don't be surprised if there's not very many check-ins today. It's a pretty chill day. The day is so lovely. You guys know the day after it rains during spring, the day after is always just gorgeous. I really wish we had a dining set outside, like an actual dining set. We have little, a, like a little lounge area, like little couches um, and a low coffee table, but we don't have an actual dining set 
And I know the boys at their dad's have an actual dinner table outside on their patio and they love to eat outside and it just seems really relaxing. Hey, hey you guys, about 8.30. It's been such a good day. I haven't had one of these days in a very long time and it was nice. All I had to do was work a little bit in the morning and then I ate and then I gave a haircut. Everything else, it was TV and Animal Crossing. Anyway, we wanted to check out, check in. Check out, check in and check out. And thank you guys for hanging out with us this weekend. It was awesome. It was a great weekend. Can't wait to get back to mom mode tomorrow. Distance learning. I think it's our last week. No, two more weeks of distance learning and then I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, the boys. And then everything else that you saw in this vlog, all the places we went. Oh wait, just kidding, because of the Rona. Anywhere we went, <laughs> anything we ate, anything I wore, although I don't, think I wore anything cute this weekend will be listed and linked in the description box below uh, but other than that I love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye bye